Yo, what's happening? Today's uh, Sunday, November eighth, and um, it's time to it's time for a haircut. I, I look homeless here. You know what I'm saying? I got a stubble. It's not even cool. I look I look unkempt. Um, so today's gonna be a nice day or a nice shave, I should say. Um, today we're going with um, razor is going to be the Wolfman. WR1OC with a WRH1 handle. Good stuff. Um, today's razor is going to be Morrison Forndren. Um, Morrison Forndren 2XL in a purple haze handle. Um, and today's soap is going to be something new. Um, in here is a bit of a, a bit of a tester um, from Barrister Man. This is this is a uh, this is a draft of the um, of the new one, the uh, Le Grand Chypre. Um, and oh man, I haven't used it yet. This, this is gonna be my first use, but I have test leathered it, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get to it. I actually put some in here because that thing is small. Um, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be big enough to load out of. This is a bowl from Zach. Thank you, Zach. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing on the road because I am way 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 too excited about using this soap. So um, I originally actually I was gonna use. Uh, I was going to use some other more different things, but I decided to use this one. I just wanted a more graceful shave. Just wanted to uh, use some things that just have a bit more grace. You know what I'm saying? Not that the original draft of this shave um, wasn't graceful because, I don't know, it's like, uh, I'm like black belt level, you know what I'm saying? Almost done loading this joint. This uh, I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if it's just uh, me or whatever, but it seems that this uh, new Barrister Man base is a little bit easier to load than the previous. And this is going to be white label. Um, you know, as as you guys probably know, the black label is no longer. But these are the new white labels. Um, and yeah, there's a difference between. Uh, the current white label and the uh, white label that is <laughs> the uh, what's being sold is the current white label stuff. So, what are the differences? This stuff is easier to load. Um, it's easier to load. It's easier to lather. There is a chelating agent in here, so. Uh, those of you that are dealing with very uh, hard water shouldn't be too tough for you to use this stuff and uh, look at this you see what I'm saying like this stuff lathers it lathers easier than uh, than the current white label and let me go ahead and um, explain this I um, some of you may know Barrister Man um, I rather like their products kinda sort of um, and I'm going to be really honest with you, Will, and uh, I hope you don't get mad. Uh, actually, it'll probably just make you laugh a little bit because you know me. But uh, I was a little apprehensive when I heard that uh, that white label was getting uh, remixed, so to speak. But, uh, man, trust. After that test lather yesterday, and again, I'm not. Uh, this is like the first official use. Um, but, uh, look at that, man. And I don't mean this purple brush, because, like, purple is pretty much the best favorite color to have. But look at this brush, man. This thing is just teeming with lather. I'm telling you, man, this, uh, this Will guy, he's pretty good at, uh, making, he's pretty good at making soaps. Um... In this is going to be a Paul Silver Super Iridium, and uh, let's go ahead and get this on the road. 
Also, that's this soap does not seem to be as thirsty, or it's, it's purported to not be as thirsty. And I guess that uh, was a little bit accurate here. This is the first use, first time that I've lathered, lathered it. Excuse me, with a uh, with a badger brush. Oh my, that's good. I used a uh, the test lather was with a um, was with a synthetic, one of those uh, Mula synthetics. And uh, I don't really synthetics, and those are not for me. Although I do really like synthetics in music. Rob F, you're still incredible. Um, but in the, uh, with that, uh, synthetic brush, it didn't seem to really be any more or less thirsty, which that's going to be something that I'll miss. Um, I like that you can, it's really hard to overhydrate a Barrister of Man, the current Barrister of Man white labels. We'll just call them the original and the remix. So the uh, the slickness, I'd say it feels it feels slicker. And um, in talking to someone else that uh, was testing this, this individual mentioned that uh, they found this lather to be denser but not thicker. And I, I can agree there. The label is more, or excuse me, the lather is more substantial. Um, the lather is more substantial than uh, the current original white label. Man, this, this stuff is good, you guys. Um, Le Grand Chypre is going to be released on the 20th of... Uh, the 20th of, uh, of this month along with a matching aftershave and a new uh, a new member of the lava lineup which is uh, of course Barrister Man's more cost conscious lineup I'm not gonna say that it's cheaper because that just uh, gives the wrong impression Wow. This is very impressive, you guys. Will, will, will. Ill will. So, for those of you that don't know, Shebra is a uh, it's a genre of scent. Some of you may know I uh, I came from the fragrance world, quote unquote, prior to getting into this kind of uh, getting into shaving like this. And uh, yeah, I came from the fragrance world. So I could have uh, I, I could put some more water in this uh, in this lather. It dried out a little bit. I'll remember that before I uh, go to reapply it. But uh, yes, Shebra is a family of uh, is a genre of scent, much like uh, much like fougeres. Now I'm hoping that uh, well, I just uh, I hope I, I hope that uh, history doesn't repeat itself. With sheepers. Wow. This stuff, man. Some of you may know one of my big things is residual slickness. I like to be able to, uh, wet my hand a little bit, pass it along the skin and still have and you know have that reactivate whatever is left on the skin so to speak and give me some uh, some slickness to be able to make these touch up 
these touch up attempts with. While the post shave is, while the post shave seems to be even nicer than uh, than the original. Wow, this stuff, this stuff's very good. It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. So I guess uh, I can talk about what happened this weekend real quick. Um, the uh, I went out on Friday. There was a thing, a music thing here. Something called a little something called Technox. Um, as I mentioned before, wow, dude. Man. I'm telling you, like I said, you know, just wetting, wetting a hand and passing it along and kicking up. I don't know if you can see this, but you see that? It still leaves enough, uh, enough good stuff in its wake to, uh, to be good enough to shave with. So like I said, I'm actually going to add a touch more water to this brush. Now, even though this is not, even though this remix is not as thirsty as the original, it still takes on water with the same degree of a plum that uh, that the original did. Look at that. So, uh, yeah. It doesn't need, quote unquote, the amount of water that the original made you use, but it still, like I said, it still takes it on, it takes it on well. It stays composed in the, uh, in the face of heavy watering. Hopefully this, uh, hopefully this stays in the regular lineup of uh, Will's product offering. But I know that this is going to be, like I said, this is going to be the new base moving forward for the white labels. Change is a good thing in this instance, you guys. Straight up. Let's do this. Stuff smells wonderful. I remember some time ago, Ian suggested that, uh, you know, stoke makers start looking into uh, Sheepra's for new scents, and uh, I thought it was a good idea then, and then now that I'm actually using it, wow, very good idea. Mmm. Yeah, like I was explaining earlier about Technox. Um, so, it was Friday night. It was at something called the Birdhouse. A couple of my friends from Nashville came up to play. A guy called Alex Michalski. Um, goes under the name Gray People. And uh, the main event, so to speak, was Mr. Oliver Dodd. Oliver's been releasing records for some time. I can't, I can't, get, I can't get past this stuff, man. Like I said, I gave it a taste, a test lather before. Goodness. Um. So yeah, it was good. Um. Like I said, it was in a. Uh, it was like in a, a house. Like you know, where people live. Turned into a community center. The name of the neighborhood is Fourth and Gill. Let me uh, let me do this real quick. After this.
Um, yeah, let me do this. BRB. Word. Um, so it was like the perfect house party house. It was like lots of space, lots of open space. Plenty of people can fit. They stuffed a, they stuffed a decent little sound system in there. It was fun. It was free. BYOB. I uh, I was going to uh, pick up a bottle of my favorite slum and scotch, Dewar's, but uh, the Dewar's didn't happen. I ended up getting some Maker's Mark. Which I've been informed by a certain Peggy Hill is Hillbilly Liquor. And I don't think she knows what she's talking about. So I got the little single serving, little single serving joint. I think it's the, I think it's a pint is what it is. Whatever, the one bottle. The bottle costs like 12, 15 bucks or whatever. Sipped on that thing over the course of the night and it was good. Good time was had by all. And by all, I mean me. I'm not going to do it against the grain pass today. just don't really feel like it. don't feel that it's necessary. Although, actually, you know what? I am. I'm going to put this stuff to the test. See what you got. Barrister and man. Wow, this lather is. See, at this point in the shave, the lather usually is not this composed. So it seems to stick around longer as well, which is a plus for me because, um, you know, I've got a lot of, a lot of square footage to, to, to depilate. What is happening here? Stuff is a trip, man. Great razor shavers. Prepare to meet your huckleberry. This blade, by all accounts, should have been switched out by now, but it's having no problem gliding over this skin and I'm not even I'm not even tightening not even tightening the skin and it's still just cruising right along Here goes nothing. 
gets the grain on the neck. I'm just going to add some more water just to see what happens here. Hmm. And all it did was just kick up, kick up the volume of the leather. Still very, look at that, it still coats really well. And I put about, uh, I put a lot of water in this thing, you guys. Insanity. Looks like I didn't really do too well up here. Unreal. Ridiculous. Yeah, man. This is good. This is quite, quite good. Cold water rinse. This, uh, it seems to rinse off a little bit uh, easier. Than the original. Well, well, well. The gauntlet has been thrown, you guys. This stuff is very, very, very good. I remember Will mentioning that he, uh, you know, when he pulled Black Label off the market, that he was going to kind of combine the two and, uh, you know, combine the two, which, uh, yeah. The post shave is so nice. Skin is very, very soft, smooth. But that's just because I got finished shaving, that's why it's so smooth. Um, after shave, after shave, after shave, after shave. Um, BRB. So, don't really have anything that matches this per se, so I actually went with the uh, old school barrister man, Vetiver Heather and Clary Sage. <laughs> Haven't used this in quite some time. This is probably maybe the second time that I've ever used it. It's the only bottle I own. And uh, it was like a one-time thing. Look at that. That's how new, that's how much I haven't used it. Um, it was a one-time thing, and uh, I want to hold on to it for as long as I can. So I haven't really used it much. This is a very floral, very floral vetivery affair. And to be completely honest with you. I didn't even really need to use a Kyogu. If you guys are familiar with Barrister and Man Kyogu after shaves, they're very good for a rough shave. Shave wasn't too rough, despite what this, you know, indicates. Honestly, I just did it mainly because I think the scent 
hair will. Wow. This is good, good, good stuff, you guys. Barrister Man, Man, Le Grand Chipre, and I'll, uh, I'll post a, uh, I'll post a, uh, link in the description below to, uh, you know, so you can familiarize yourself with what the characteristics and the notes and all that, the composition of a Chipre. Hmm. Very, very good stuff here. Well, I wanted to give you, I wanted to give you some negative feedback. Um, the sense strength could stand to be upped, but you already are taking care of that anyway. And the only reason I say that is because, like I said, I'm looking for something negative to tell you here. But, uh, yeah, man, very, very good stuff here. Wolfman, Open Comb, Barrister Man, Kilbu, Vetiver, Heather, Clary Sage, uh, Morrison, 400, and Purple Haze, 2XL, and, uh, very good stuff. You guys are in for a treat. Have a good night, everybody. Hope everybody's had a good weekend. Um, and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Peace.